Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, yesterday, I received a very good response on my first vlog, so I thought, why not go ahead and make another one? So it's around 5:57 in the morning. I happened to uh, wake up in time, so I am out for my morning walk. So in today's vlog, I am going to take you through my uh, neighborhood. You can uh, see behind. Uh, this is the street uh, right outside our vlog. Usually I uh, go to the park connectors near our house but that I do over the weekends, uh, weekdays because uh, now my husband and daughter will be leaving for uh, their office and school respectively, I cannot go very far. So usually outside the block I go for a morning walk, my husband is also along with me so he doesn't want to come into the frame so he's far away. So let me take you through my neighborhood today, come along. So this is what I was uh, talking about, there is this uh, pedestrian path right outside the block uh, where people usually walk and sometimes even cycle when we lived in Tokyo. Uh, there used to be a separate path for uh, pedestrians and cyclists but uh, here because the space is a crunch in Singapore so the uh, it's, it's, it's the common uh, path which the pedestrians and the cyclists uh, share so yeah and uh, as you can see in distance there is a, a bus stop right outside our place so that way Singapore is very well connected every uh, few meters you will find uh, a bus stop uh, uh, Tokyo was quite bigger in terms of landmass so you had to walk a bit to actually get to the bus stop here it's not the case if you are living in a government apartment, uh, what is called HDB is over here. So most of the HDB blocks right outside have a bus stop, uh, a supermarket and uh, even a hawker center like uh, you know street food place. So this is the main uh, road which connects our uh, HDB apartment with the bus stop and the supermarket and wherever we have to commute and you can see the bus is flying already in the morning uh, some people do start their work very early so yes and uh, we also have the community center please uh, we also have our community center pretty close by it's quite dark so it's not seen right now uh, so you can see at the signal over there the those uh, uh, lights so right behind those lights is the community center where they have the facility to play hockey there is a swimming pool and uh, you can access the gym over there so those are basically community service so you have to pay around uh, two dollars to access the community facilities and then you can just uh, go in so this is kind of uh, the a little backside of our block where i'm walking the uh, public schools over here uh, start off quite early just like it used to be for us uh, when you know when we were in school uh, so the public schools start here at 7 30 a.m so at this hour or uh, not really it's uh, six now so maybe in a while you will see a lot of children you know uh, walking towards the school or taking their transport uh, to school uh, but the international schools they start off at 9 a.m so they are a bit relaxed but yes MOE the uh, schools run by Ministry of Education of Singapore they start pretty early and children are in school by 7 30 a.m. So this is the other side of our block. Can you spot my husband walking there in far he doesn't want to be captured in frame today and you know this is how this is the um, uh, car park for the uh, taxis and if you have your uh, cars to enter so there is a facility over here like if you have guests visiting they can even park their cars uh, pay a very nominal amount for parking and they can visit you so that's the small supermarket I was talking about it is called Shenzhong over here it is uh, quite popular so maybe one of the days I will make a vlog and take you to Shenzhong and right next to it is the hawker center so that's Shenzhong and that's the hawker center so I'm going to go round and round my block so I will not bore you I'll just take you through one circle and uh, yes 
then I will stop the vlog. See, this is the car park, and these are the uh, taxis over here. So there are different uh, uh, these uh, services offered by Grab and Zig and Stride. Uh, these are the different apps you can download to hire taxi services. The people are already there at the bus stop waiting for the bus. Most of them are, you know, most of the times, uh, people who start really early are the hospital staff or, you know, uh, school staff. There you go. I have caught up with my husband. There is a church also here, right next in our block and yes we are continuing to walk uh, what you see right in front is a MOE school so here they have separate uh, pre-primary primary and uh, secondary school it's a big space uh, a huge campus of the I think this one is the primary or secondary. I'm not too sure because uh, right behind, uh, like right around our block, there are uh, two schools. So I think this one is the primary one. I keep forgetting. So we are just, you know, so it's like this is our uh, block and we are going uh, round and round our block to complete our morning walk instead of going to the park connectors though we prefer going to the park connectors because they are that's much nicer space you know more green uh, no transport around it's quite peaceful you get to hear birds chirping and sometimes you will have roosters crossing your path and if you go uh, once the sun is up uh, so you will even come across geckos so it's quite exciting but right now the weather is very hot and humid very very hot and humid so as i said it's very hot and uh, humid it's just uh, around now 6 10 and i'm already um, you know perspiring because of the humid weather so i think yes we were right at the school i'll show you the school maybe flip the camera and uh, let you have a look at the school. This one is the empty school. So there it is. It is the Anchor Green Primary School. This is another uh, primary school right behind uh, the other side of our house there are a lot of behind actually so this one is Nanchao uh, primary school you would notice you know maybe someday I will come in the afternoon or when it's the school hours that uh, how crowded it gets just like any other uh, school in India now we are walking towards uh, another side of our uh, block so there's another beautiful uh, Buddha temple over here and right now can you spot red lights they put up lanterns and lights and some uh, festive decoration. See, they are putting these uh, thing for, you know, a canopy as well. I think some big festival is coming up all these years because of COVID. Uh, hardly any celebrations took place in this uh, temple, but looks like this year they are having some major celebration because they have put canopy from end to end and it's been all lit up. Special lights have been put and on this side they have extended and they've created some platform i think they are going to put some dds over here it's a beautiful temple usually uh, when we step out we uh, you know walk across from here so we always come to offer prayers to this temple as you can see here already some people are there some volunteers of the temple so that's the beautiful Kika temple i don't know how much just as the camera is doing and most of these temples have you know these guards at the entrance of the temple bear with my uh, voice I'm not talking very loud because it's morning and uh, I'm still you know not uh, asleep but yes not in full energy as of now so we we'll continue our walk see can you 
see the flags and all so they have extended the canopy on both sides of the temple so there are these uh, there is uh, this chinese temple also right next to this buddha temple and uh, there is another temple right next to it so there are these three temples two chinese and one buddha temple next to each other in our block so that ways we are in a quite uh, comfortable zone the moment we step down we have the temple supermarket you know bus stop everything nearby like in 5 minutes uh, walk so it's quite uh, comfortable that's another uh, school building in front if you see that's the other school building so they make it very convenient you know for their residents by having all the public schools within the vicinity of the residential apartments so that children don't have to uh, commute for long hours unless your child is studying in international school they'll be usually placed in the public schools close by but it's meant only for the locals and the prs if you are an expat then your child needs to appear for an entrance exam to get through the public school this is another uh, chinese temple i was talking about and now let's continue our walk this is the overview of uh, my blog with the temple bus stop church um, everything uh, close by and uh, i will continue with my walk maybe i will uh, take a small snippet again once i am back after my walk otherwise it's very difficult to walk and keep recording and since i'm taking the rounds of the same place it would look the same in the video anyhow so i will continue oh one thing i missed i shall show you there is a 711 there aren't many convenience stores here in singapore uh, in japan there used to be uh, you know 711 family mart and they used to be much bigger stores uh, here they are quite smaller and they keep uh, limited stuff but uh, yeah if uh, there is an emergency and you know you just want to grab something on the go then they are quite convenient so i'll continue with my walk so guys i'm walking back home now uh, my daughter and my husband has to leave for work so we need to prep up our uh, lunch and breakfast so i shall uh, catch you again soon i hope you enjoyed this vlog do let me know in the video comments uh, if you are liking these vlogs i would you know try to create more more about singapore more about uh, our life uh, in singapore 